Hello YouTube and the viewers at the internet. I apologize for not posting the video last week. I was really busy studying for finals. But now that finals are over, I'm able to record and post this video either by today or tomorrow. Anyways, this is the introduction to my channel. What it's going to be on from now on. A new update about technology, computers, phones, and as well as my car. The mods I will be doing in my car. I recently just got a mod... Ugh, Resonator Delete, that's what it was. I have two resonators in my car, I got the small one out. As you can see right there, a little trophy. But, without wasting more time, let's get started to the video. So, right here, this is a Windows 10 Intel i7 computer. And in the front, you have a USB hub, power button, power LED button that indicates it's on or off, a panel so you could plug in external storage like an SSD or a hard drive. I'll show you that in a little bit. Right here is the ventilation for airflow to go in and out. And at the bottom it's an NVIDIA sticker because I have an NVIDIA graphics card. And on the side I have my name on it because it's my project, it's like a watermark. I'm proud of what I made. And my name deserves to be placed on it. And right here, here's a, another ventilation for the CPU because it's an Intel i7 960 or something like that. I'm not sure of the model, but it clocks around 3.20 gigahertz quad core, which is a pretty fast one. It's an old processor, but it's still pretty fast. And I designed it a little poorly, you could say. I'm not really sure what you guys think of it. I think I could have done a lot better with the design, but trying to build a computer was really hard. It took me three months over the summer of 2016. And the worst case scenario is not that. The worst case scenario is I spent more money on the Legos than the computer itself. But I'm almost finished with it. I'm like 98% done because this panel supposed to go right here but I never had the time to finish that panel which is very like simple very simple anyways to the back side you see a bunch of USBs right here here's also the power supply a ventilation for the power supply and here's also the PCI ports I have not maxed it out and that's the reason why you could see a Super Mario logo panel that can pop in and out pretty quickly too see so I can adjust it if I want to expand my slots but my graphics cards in Nvidia 750 super clocked about one to two gigabytes of video RAM not really sure you'll see some specifications and benchmark on the computer pretty soon on the inside I have a 1000 watt power supply from Energy Max Galaxy the CPU fan is a Coolmaster Evo 212 dual fans and I have 16 gigabytes of Kingston RAM as you can see I have not maxed it out there's four gigabytes each so it's four eight and another four eight so eight plus eight sixteen sixteen gigabytes of RAM I'm bad with math by the way and the motherboard is an Asus X58 Sabertooth motherboard it's an old motherboard but hey it's pretty good I got two fans right here. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. Anyways, around the computer, there are LED lights installed. I actually bought them from Ikea. And it usually came in this kind of form, the outlet ACDC form. So I just pretty much snipped that right off. And I soldered it to the power supply. It's somewhere in there. The cables are hidden in there. So when you turn on the computer, yeah. Turns on. Pretty cool, right? So now the computer's gonna be loading. And the design for the computer it's pretty much built from a hundred percent authentic, unphysically changed Lego. So you could go to the Lego factory and you could build the same model as I did. No problem. 
So I'm gonna just log in. You're not gonna see my password, no username. That was quick. See, basically, it's quick. Just click something. See, that was quick. Anyways, I will stop recording from my phone and continue recording from my computer. So here I am on my desktop recording my screen. I'm going to just show you some specifications of what my computer has. As you can see right here, my CPU information, my motherboard, my RAM, more information about my RAM and my graphics card. So as you can see in the bottom right corner, you can check my core temperatures. They usually vary from anywhere from 30 to 60 Celsius with an average of 49 more or less. My base clock speed is usually 3.20 but as you can see right here, I have overclocked it to 8 3.85 gigahertz I had to go in the BIOS change my settings around to overclock it and right now let's see what it's actually running at despite what it says down here yep reported expected and then let's do let's do some benchmarks I'm also going to benchmark Minecraft as well. Benchmark. So right now, I'm just going to let it wait, not mess with anything, and see how well this benchmark runs. As you can see now, these are the benchmarks for my computer. Current score is 321. Highest TP CPU temperature is 72 Celsius. That's pretty good, I guess. Uh, let's change this to 10 minutes. Yeah. Anyways, that's the benchmark right there so now we're gonna go into benchmark minecraft I also have the optimize optifine mod installed lower down the volume first all right creative amplified step loaded I'm running around 200 frames per second on average now 100 is that a spider oh it's good Yeah, an average of 200 to 300 frames per second. Not if you want to go all the way up in the sky. Let's 
how much frames per sec I will get loading all this. So I get like a hundred frames per sec, a hundred fifty. Loading the terrain. The swamps. I gotta find Shrek now. No lag. I'm really happy about this. I could play Minecraft in the heaviest high quality settings and I'd be fine not a single lag anyways there you have it a benchmark of minecraft and that's pretty much all I have for you guys and like I said before I'm gonna start posting little clips right after my screen recording of the beta stages of my computer, all the clips and pictures of how it looked like before and after. And I'm also gonna put in a little bonus clip of the new mod I did to my car. That'll be at the very, very end. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Hopefully by next week I'll have another video to be posted. Till then.